we finally made it. We're here in Maui. Just a couple miles up the road over there, that's Lahaina Beach. An outrageous fire broke out, killing hundreds, if not thousands, with thousands more missing. They feel that number uh, of 150 people dead is a slap in the face. Thousands are missing, and when they say missing, they just haven't been identified yet. We're gonna to talk to the citizens, the locals, the indigenous people here at Lahaina to get some answers. They've been telling people, don't come back here. You can't breathe, you can't drink the water. Trying to scare people away, and that seems like they wanna have a land grab. And people are very, very suspicious of this. The locals, the, the people who lost everything, those are the ones who are suspicious, and they want answers, and they're not gonna stop. Why did the emergency sirens not get sounded? Why did they run out of water? Why were the police blocking people in so they couldn't escape from the deadly flames? Can you see the fence here? That fence that you got right over there is going ripping all the way around and about so people can't come in through the other side to see what's going on. Uh, they're not allowing anybody in. Unless you have a house that's standing, even the people who lost their houses, they told us yesterday they're not allowed to go into the zone. So they can't have any closure whatsoever. Why is the governor saying that Maui is closed when the whole island is dependent on tourism? Why are FEMA and Red Cross dragging their feet? At the end of the day, we do know this for sure. The response, the emergency response has been crap. It feels like it's an orchestrated gentrification of sorts. They want people out, they want the locals gone, they want the indigenous people gone, and they want this land. Finally, we're also here to understand what we can do to help these people stay in Lahaina. Lahaina has a history that is rich in tradition. Not just locals lived here, but indigenous people lived in Lahaina. Lahaina was the capital before the American empire had taken over. They're not wanted here anymore. That they're not getting the necessary means to stay and fight and live where they've lived for so long. And Lahaina, that is just destroyed, would be a perfect prime spot for them to go, let's just wipe it all out and let's build up from scratch. We need to understand what we need to do as citizens here in America to help these people today. I'm Craig Pastor Jardula. Let's go find out.